Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. For them, ever since Mimo 600 came out and did whatever he did to piss off Lil Durk, I'm under the impression that he's no longer 600 either. And when I say that, I don't mean as along the lines of Lil Durk controls 600 and he's able to kick people out of a game that's not originally his. But think about it like this. Lil Durk was kind of known for working with L.A. Capone, Rondo Number 9. He signed Booker. He signed Just Blow. Pretty much the whole 600 gang, Team 600, was actually a part of OTF. And it came to a point when Take Capone, or Take 600, came out and spoke about originally Rondo wanted him to be OTF. And he said, no, nah, OTF already got their own label thing going on. We need to sit back and try to get Team 600 going as an actual label. You know, they had E-Day, a bunch of other people who could have carried that name and that legacy going on for L.A. But instead, a lot of 600 members went to sign with OTF. And you see today, even Mimo, Mimo, Just Blow, Buka. Like I said, even go back to L.A. and Rondo. The whole Team 600 was OTF. Mimo fell out with Dirk. I'm not sure where exactly it was over. He came running back, got an OTF tattoo. He tatted Dirk name so he knows it's real. When WAC 100 didn't want to do any type of business with him. And then after that, it seemed like they fell out again. I've been reporting on this for the, for the longest, and I think people was under the impression that we on the outside looking in, we don't know what we're talking about. But sometimes these rappers make things obvious when they unfollow each other, when they stop wearing jewelry that another one might have gave them. And it's not along the lines of, oh, you're reaching. It's, it's in plain sight. And that brings us to what we have today with Lil Durk right hand man, Booker 600. Even though he pretty much, I don't want to say the face of 600, because you know he still got Breezy and other stuff like that, other people like that. But I don't understand how a whole gang could turn against somebody who's supposedly their brother. And that kind of makes you really look back and look at me more a little different. Like, what did you do to these people you grew up with? I know there's been rumors of Mimo being goofy from the get-go. And who knows? You know, that's only for the streets and people who hung out with him to determine that he's an original goofy. But Booker 600 came out and said, all that gang stuff did, I will smack you. And it seemed like, I know Bezu came out and said, he's not doing this for Lil Durk. But the way Booker 600 handling the situation, um, Bezu handling the situation, we all know that those two right there, are close associates of Lil Durk. And it was in rumors that Mimo and Dirk were supposed to fight. Right after those rumors circulated, you seen Mimo get chased by Bezu, and then you see Booker come out and speak against his once upon a time 600 brother, brethren. Getting crazy. Get in the comment section, let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.